What's going on, guys? We are here to talk about Dignitas because their season may as well be over after not qualifying for Open Qualifier 4, the first of the Open Qualifiers, to make it to Major 2. We'll explain why the points and the reasoning behind Dignitas very likely has already ended their entire year at this point, and we'll have to wait till whenever the 2025 season starts, I uh, guess. But let's get into it real quick. Look, uh, let's show you what happened in the open qualifier portion to qualify for the main event, a uh, top 16. Um, and yeah, we'll go from there. So really quickly through the bracket, for the most part, all the favorites made it through except for Dignitas. As you can see here, triple threat. I'm trying to highlight it a little bit. It's kind of doing it. Uh, they lost to triple threat. And that was, they did not score a goal after game two. I think it was like 03, 03, 02. Um, I have it on some notes, but it's behind the screen I'm having here. So, uh, we're just, uh, you know, well, uh, why not? Let's bring it up. Uh, yeah, so they won one nothing, 2 nothing. Then they lose 03, 02, 03 in games 3, 4, and 5. Then, later on in the bracket, a little spoilers, but um, versus Energy, again, fantastic game 1 and 2. 3 nothing, 2 nothing. Then they lose 3 to 2. Then they lose 4 to 1. They tie it with 5 seconds left at 2 2 in game 5. But they fall in overtime three to two there. So Dignitas out. As you can see here, they play triple threat. They had a tougher lower bracket run then because they lost in the first round. Instead of getting triple threats bracket, who also did not qualify, by the way. Um I'll show you where they were at. So the importance of losing in the last match of the upper bracket is very important. Uh, they played Cloverity, while on the other side, Dignitas had to play NRG, um, as you can see here. So that's where they got out. But if you look really quickly through the points rankings, uh, based on the entire year for NA, most of the favorites all made it through. Like if they have a gray box, they're still in the tournament. The only one that didn't was Dignitas, and then you have to go down to Young Whippersnappers, who were, I believe, 14th um, or tied for 13th. Uh, so they also did not make it. But when you get down to that level, you figure that's going to happen. A lot of these teams will trade placements to make it to the main event or not. Uh, but Dignitas is one of those teams that probably that should not happen to. Obviously, they just made a roster move. Bringing in a European from a top five European team and Stizzy. And maybe finally, guys, the NA depth argument has some validity. All right. You can start using it now because an EU top five player who was definitely either the best player on the team or probably number two at worst comes over to Dignitas, who was a top five team. I guess a top eight team in North America last time because there was a four way tie at fifth. Um, and they don't even qualify for the main event so absolutely huge but now let's break down why Dignitas's year is very likely over and we'll go over the points um so really quickly it's gonna be zoomed in here just focus on the boxes that i have on screen um so split one points before the major here's how it all unfolded it was actually pretty generous for og it actually helped them a lot because a lot of teams traded and the only other grand finalist was lg who made it to third place and that's what you want. Like, if you're a Dignitas fan, you want three teams to absolutely dominate. That didn't really even happen in Split 1. There is still room for that to get even better, I guess. But it was a pretty good result for OG, who only needed 19 points to qualify based on everyone else kind of messing up. Um, as you can see, Dig, they made it to a top four once. Um, and then they didn't make it to a top eight after that. Uh, then you have three top eights for M80 and Space Station. And then TSM, they made a top four, but only, but that was their only top eight finish. Um, so all in all, for OG, th th this was a great run for them. It actually worked out very well. That was a low minimum point threshold that they had to cross. So it helped them a lot to qualify for the major. Uh, now, going into split two, like if we just convert the points now just to see how it would look, uh, basically there's more points in split two. You get like 20 points for a win, so it's four extra. Most of the points, though, the gaps are the same. The only difference is if we look here, first and second is a four-point gap. That is the same here, 20 
and then a four point gap there. Um, but there's a four point gap now to make the grand finals. Before that was a three point gap, nine and twelve, as you can see here, a four point gap. So um, that's really the main difference. There's also a difference between like top eight and ninth and eleventh. There's a two point gap there instead of one point. Uh, so there's a couple differences, but for the most part. Yes, there is more points, so you think it might be easier to make it, but it's actually not easier if you fail to acquire those points in the first qualifier. Um, so uh, let's just look at it. Basically, the way the points go here, M80 and Space Station actually got bumped up a little bit over Dig and TSM, so they didn't all tie. Instead, M80 and Space Station would have been one point ahead. OG, though, they still had 28 points they still would have qualified. They would have just needed the 25-point threshold to make it to top four. And again, this is based on what happened last time. G2 and G G dominated. You expect that to happen. Um, and then you also want third place to dominate as well. Luminosity, maybe not pure domination, but they did make all top eights, and um, they made it to a grand finals, which is pretty solid. Um, so again, pretty favorable for OG. Um for Dignitas, here's the problem. Like, if we look down here and what is realistic, right? Um, very likely fourth place could be even higher than these, but I'm going to use these as bases of, like, this is a spot that could happen um, in the positive light for Dignitas to see what they can catch up on. So three fifth place finishes will get you 24 points, which means Dignitas would need 25 that one is probably the most likely. The other two are very unlikely. Two fifth place finishes and a ninth. Two fifth place finishes and a twelfth. 22 and 21 points. So again, that point threshold would then be 23 or 22, or you could tie, obviously. Um, three fifth place finishes is still very difficult to make top four. Um, as you can see up here, that was the point threshold last time around. If you look at M80, they had the three... Uh, fifth place finishes, so they got 24. OG just needed one point better to advance past them. Um, so, like, if that's the worst case, though, like, if it's the same top four teams, or at least, say, a, like, M80 gets two top fours, and then someone else gets two top fours, then it's going to be a lot harder to get to that point threshold. But for Dignitas, where it is now, their best case is they want three fifth place finishes to be the fourth place spot like or something better. But generally, you only need 24 points. They have one point as of right now. They would need, if that happens, which again, last time did not qualify a team, uh, they would need, if you look here, two third place finishes, 12 points in th third and fourth. So you would need two third and fourth place finishes back to back in order to cover that. That's basically the same thing that OG did last time around. So OG, they got four points that they got 12 and 12. They didn't need four points. They only needed one. So they're kind of in that same boat as Dignitas. So yes, the season very likely over, but they're not completely done yet. If they do get two back to back top fours, there's a possibility. Obviously, if they go further, if they make a grand finals, that four point gap could matter. But again, they would need basically 23 points to tie that. And the only way really to get that is at least two top fours. Um, if you, so you can do two top fours or you can do a grand finals and a fifth place. Or obviously, if you win, then you have a little bit more of leeway there. So if you're a Dick and Toss fan, top four feels like the minimum. If they make it to a Grands, then they can also get a top five. But they would still need a lot of help. It's not ne uh, necessarily going to be three fifth-place finishes is that fourth-place spot. Because, again, they're averaging. That's not a good average for a fourth-place team, right? You would need the other three teams to dominate pretty heavily. It did happen in split one, but I think that was um, an outlier, and that's not something that always happens. Uh, so keep that in mind. For Dink Dust fans, uh, is the season over? Not yet, but they need a lot of help. They like if they want to do it on their own, they need a grand finals probably and a top four, and then they probably don't have to worry about the point threshold. They'll probably make it in. Uh, but if they get two top fours, they're going to need a lot of help as well. Uh, so keep that in mind if you're a Dignitas fan out there. But they got reverse swept twice to lose out in the double uh, elim. 
Uh, NA depth, it's here, I guess. And energy, it's Garrett G. He can't miss a regional. Uh, so that's what Dignitas has to do. Going into qualifier five and six, I guess, not two and three. Uh, but yeah, Dignitas, it's a long road ahead to make that major. And obviously, if they don't make the major, they're not going to be a top four uh, North American team. So they will miss out on the world championship. And basically, that means after, what, mid-May? They are now off for a very long time. It depends when the next year begins. It might start in 2025. It might start sooner. I honestly don't know. Uh, but it's still a very, very long break either way. So Dignitas has to right the ship. Not only has to right the ship, they have to do better than they did in split one considerably in qualifier two and three. They need to get their best finish ever, which was a top four. And they need to do it twice. And they need help unless they go even further. So we'll see what Dig can cook up going into that qualifier five and six. Uh, but for now, it's looking dire. Looking very, very dire for them. Everyone else, all sitting pretty. We'll see how it all plays out through the Swiss. Uh, pretty much everyone that was in contention is in contention. We have a couple of lower teams, 13th or so that are out, but they're not really in contention for a major spot, very likely. So see how it all plays out this weekend. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.